Cheating, the spiciest of topics. Yay! Right, obviously everyone's gonna have like an opinion on this. I'm assuming at some point we've all seen or been in a group with a cheetah. They're pretty prevalent. However, they are nowhere near as numerous as a lot of people would have you believe. And typically from what I understand, 90% of these cheetah complaints come from PVP. At least from my experience, the vast majority come from PvP. And this is something I've actually had come up quite a few times in comments of people asking on my opinion around this thing, as well as like overall, like would it be bad if they then start cheating to fight the cheaters, sort of a, if you can't beat them, join them kind of thing. Last inter interaction I had on this is a bit strange, mostly just because I, replied when on the adult juice so the language is very poor and by language i mean the ability to actually spell and actually make a grammatically correct sentence not foul bad evil words i'm not that much of a fucking idiot so my response to this person who was asking about cheetahs i basically replied Kronos has been completely blocked so 100 percent is not that I'm not saying it's not something else as i am sure as with all things one thing dies so another can live. That being said, the whole cheating thing in PvP is strange. I'm good friends with a few PvP players, very good PvP players in fact. They all get reported and called cheaters near enough five times an hour. They are not cheating. They are just better than those they face in Division 2. Division 2 also has horrific server delay. I have seen two streamers fight each other. One person's client, they are facing each other and shooting, though his opponent is not taking any damage. On the second person's client, he has moved round person one and is shooting him from behind and destroying him. The server had not caught up to what they were doing, so the clients are showing two very separate things. These two did this experiment knowing this, so no foul play was called, however, Imagine if you didn't know this. All you have witnessed as the pers person one is whoever you were shooting is taking zero damage and then you just die. This is not cheating, this is just bad servers. Again, not saying cheating doesn't happen, but it is nowhere near as regular as a lot of people would have you think. Now I've managed to procure a few clips from some PvP players that basically just show people's inability to understand what is actually going on, the dynamic of the build, the dynamic of PvP itself. They also just make shit up, which is weird. And when things don't go their way, their instant reaction is just to call cheater, which is bollocks. It is very clear that it's just inexperience, lack of understanding, and just, to be perfectly honest, it's just utter stupidity, and their rationale is to go cheater. Okay. Nice hacks, bro. Nice hacks. Bro, I'm running straight 4.2 million armor regen, dude, and you're fucking downing me like this? Yeah, bro. Nice cheats. <laughs> nice cheats. I ran DPS against you, and you still fucking knocked me, dude. You're fucking... So let's analyze what's actually happening. He's seen his name tag around the corner. He pops to go rogue and puts the defender drone out. He gets the first shot in. The guys only just react. He gets four bullets on target, by which point this guy panics because he's below half armor now, tries to roll, which gives the player a chance to reload. He's in no danger. You're rolling. I'm going to reload. You, ro you roll again. He doesn't actually need to reload anymore because, yeah, and problem solved he he got four shots on target he got four shots on target with a defender drone up and he's running adrenaline rush and then he claims 4.2 million armor regen which is Im impossible i think the highest armor regen you can get is like like 18k armor a second which is 
Don't get me wrong, it's pretty impressive, but in the grand scheme of things, up against an Ouroboros where this guy had a FAMAS, you're not going to beat an Ouroboros. He had Defender Drone up, he had Adrenaline Brush propped, he hadn't consumed Unbreakable. Just clearly a lot more experience, understanding, and know-how. I mean, you can see very quickly how quickly this guy just gets burned down from Ouroboros. I, it's an Oreo, dude. There's the panic and the roll. Player reloads, goes back to burning him down, goes straight to health. His unbreakable kicked in and it saved him for that second roll. He's wasting time rolling. And there we are. There's the kill. Problem solved. Like, this isn't cheating. This is just complete lack of understanding on this player's part. And he takes out on the person that killed him. You're an idiot. This person then comes back for round two. But look at his armor. Eve, I'm not a PvP player, but look at his armor. Even I can tell you that's like PvE levels of armor and he gets rinsed in seconds. He was relying on Stinger Hive, which, yeah, um, not a worthwhile tactic. With that level of armor, you're going to get rinsed. Have a good day, sir. Of course, this is then met with more standard obligatory insults along with claims of being a cheater. He's not cheating. You are just that stupid. Another fun one just wipes an entire team. But hopefully if you pay attention to this, you should see what I mean by the server delay. You'll quite often see that the player's trying to shoot the guy we're watching. They're not actually aiming at him. They, they seem to be aiming in other places and it's just simply because of server delay. This is nothing to do with cheating. I mean, there's been two moments already of where they're not even shooting at him. They're shooting in like essentially an entirely different direction. One, reaction time has a thing to do with this. If you can't re react to your opponent's movements in time, and they can, you are going to take a lot more damage than they are. But you could just very clearly see, that, like again, there, the player had moved and he hadn't readjusted his aim. Whether this is reaction time or server delay, it's kind of hard to tell. But generally speaking, yeah, it, you're not going to actually. And then another one, another team, another team fight who... They just get rinsed again because they're unable to adapt to the circumstances at hand. One thing I also need to point out is for the more astute among you, you will notice that this person that we're watching is running Strikers Obliterate. A full blue Strikers Obliterate in the dark zone. The longer you try and push him, the more he's actually going to kill you because his damage is going to continually ramp up. Add in something like an Ouroboros with the amount of stack gain that you can get, it just becomes unreal. That guy didn't even react, nor did he. Like, he's literally timing his movements for when you reload, he will pop out and destroy you. This is intelligent play. This is not cheating, despite the fact that I've, I've had to mute the um, audio for these because the amount of just utter stupidity ended up hurting my soul. It is literally down to these people are playing like bloody idiots and the only one that actually seems to be able to do anything about it is the person we're currently watching just utterly destroying these players within the pvp spectrum the one coming up is actually one of my favorite ones i find it absolutely hilarious again it's muted but they actually accuse this person of somehow being on pc due to his movements they're like oh no you're, you're, you're using keyboard and mouse somehow like you're on pc how are you on pc with uh when we're on console it's just like if that's the level of rationale that you need to make in order to justify your loss then i don't think you should be playing pvp at all like it's utterly ridiculous they just got completely t it was four versus three the four players lost and all this person actually wanted to do they actually can't say like i'm, I'm just trying to invite a friend leave me alone like, so all I want to do is invite my friend. And look, finally, he goes into his thing and, like, invites his friends because the other people stop talking. But it it's just utterly bizarre. They jump him when he's trying to invite a friend. You can clearly see he was, like, in his menu with the full clip. And he then kicks their asses. And they go, oh, you're on mouse and keyboard. You're hacking. You're cheating. And he's like, dude, I just want to invite my friend. Like, leave me alone. That was literally it. It was quite entertaining. Now, this one's actually one of my favorites, and it shows very clearly what I mean about 
the server delay, they're in essence unable to actually react to this person's movements simply because the servers are a bit weird. He's popped a firewall armor kit which is going to continually heal him as well as allowing for the three procs of adrenaline rush to basically allow the armor to reproc. They then initiate sledgehammer which is hilarious and then they just burn everything down. It's a 2v4 and they just burn them all down because they're unable to one react in time to actually understand what is going on there's a stinger hive there's defender drones yeah they are just absolutely two people are team wiping an entire four man group it's hilarious and of course they're cheating they're hacking all of the big shiny shiny buzzwords they're actively not people just don't understand how these things actually work it's for me it's entertaining it, it really is like that person wasn't even looking at him he was just running around in a circle i don't even know what he was doing neither was he like there are moments where you look at them and go i'm not too, quite sure what i'm looking at but then i'm not a pvp player however it is very very clear that you can see that these people are not cheating but of course they get called cheaters it's for me it's mind-boggling and bizarre and it's also low-key funny but at the same time it really hurts my soul they're not cheating a lot of the time the people that you think are cheating in the dz or conflict or whatever they're probably most likely not it's just understanding one the interactions with builds two you will probably find now sorry to tell you ouroboros if you're going up against someone who has ouroboros you will most likely lose Ouroboros DPS is just that damn insane. Sorry. There's also server delay. Understanding how the server is working with your client as well as their client. As I said, you can have two people on your screen shooting each other, but on the other person's screen, they're behind you or they've moved or they're doing something else. Have fun, good luck, don't die. It's bad for the health.